cute girls would be playing softball, Kara being one of them, and they'd drive through and they'd see us playing. Sean was strategic, he's very strategic. Sierra Vista, Arizona still has a very special place in our hearts, our family's heart. Kara grew up there, I grew up there as well. Her family moved there when she was about two years old because her dad had an opportunity to start a church community there. It's just a one-stop destination when it comes to Christmas. We don't have to split time with families. What's even more convenient is that her parents live across the street from mine. But my senior year of high school, <clears throat> after we'd broken up, her family moved across the street from mine. And at that time, we didn't really have cell phones. So we came up with a creative way to be able to talk to each other whenever we wanted. So we went to Walmart and we bought a pair of walkie talkies. And so each night around 7.30 or 8 o'clock, we turn our walkie talkies on and, and wait for the other person to sort of initiate. And we just talk, we talk on our walkie talkies. I wish I would have <clears throat> held on to that walkie talkie. It'd be a fun little story to tell our kids. So we're at Vinny's, and this is a local favorite. When we used to play games in the Mexican League, as soon as we were done, uh, we'd all come back here and we'd have pizza and wings. And this is also the, one of the very first times that you and I sort of, what do you want to call it? I remember you invited me for lunch and Karen and I were dating. Yeah, it used to be a place where we'd take Kara out of school just to have lunch with her at Vinny's at the other place from the time she was in grade school. You know, so it was a special place. And then there's the Wall of Flame. I don't know that you, you haven't gotten on the Wall of Flame yet. I don't think I'll ever be on the Wall of Flame. And 20 homicidal wings. 20 homicidal wings. And you told me when you did it, you're just like snotting out and... It was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> because but you're here somewhere, right? I, I haven't touched these. I put these on my plate. Okay. Well, thank you. I put them on my plate. Those are the homicidal wings. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I wouldn't eat them if I were you. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, we're. I, I think we're going to pass on that. I spent 45 minutes at home in the restroom. <laughs> before I couldn't go back to work. Here you can. But here we go. These are. So this is what they're known for. The wings. Yeah, and they have a special on Sunday where a large pizza and 50 wings. Oh really? Yeah. Oh well, perfect. Bubba, okay, come awesome. Here. Bubba, come here. You think that's good? Yeah. All right, let's eat. Sierra Vista is a beautiful place. Positioning here is okay? However, growing up as a child, we referred to it as Sari Vista. There's not much going on there. There's the military community, and with the military community, there's a lot of retirees. When I look at what our kids have here in the neighborhood that we live, the parks, all the different activities, it just seemed like that wasn't available for us. But nonetheless, it was perfect for me. Not only my development as a person, but as a soccer player. It was always great to just be able to come out here and roam around. My parents never really had to worry about what was going on. We just felt like we had so much freedom out here. Like we could just ride and ride for hours and there was always a new wash we could explore or somewhere else that we can go or build our fort somewhere else. It was amazing. Coming back to Sierra Vista has allowed me to not only remember where it all started from, but remember that it didn't start with the best coaches or the best academy, the best fields or the proper setup or the pipeline to get to the professional level. It was simply people that cared about me and encouraged me and wanted the best for me. People that were willing to invest and pour into me in a way that I'll never be able to repay. And so when I stand there at Red Bull Arena and take a look at the journey and what it's taken to get there, I can't help but feel grateful for all of it. Coming from a nothing town to being in the bright lights, coming from an area so vastly different than the North e Northeast. Yeah, looking back at the journey, every step of the way, it's been about growing in character, uh, growing in integrity, and I think it's these type of things that's allowed me to get to where I'm at, so. It's always great to go back to Sierra Vista because it's a gentle reminder of where I've come from, but more than anything, that I have to continue to fight. I have to continue to prove myself day in and day out so that I can be where I'm at.